The ML191 blood flow meter is a single channel laser Doppler flow meter that provides continuous real-time measurement of red blood cell perfusion in skin or other tissues. Before we begin the calibration, please note that it is not necessary to calibrate probes that were supplied with the ML191 blood flow meter as these were pre-calibrated at the factory. Any probes that were purchased separately require a calibration. Probe calibration. Calibrating new or previously calibrated blood flow probes with the ML191 blood flow meter is very simple. The following equipment is required to calibrate a blood flow probe. A computer connected to a power lab and lab chart software, an ML191 blood flow meter, two BNC cables to connect the ML191 outputs to a power lab, and an MLA191 calibration kit and blood flow probe. Calibration background. The MLA191 calibration kit contains a concentration of latex spheres in suspension. Probes are calibrated using the Brownian motion of latex spheres as a known reference. During probe calibration, it is therefore important to keep the bench free of external vibration and movement. Calibration procedure. To calibrate a new probe, follow the five steps described here. Firstly, connect the BNC to BNC cables, switch on the power lab, the ML191 blood flow meter, and open the lab chart software. Two. Plug the probe to be calibrated into the probe input of the ML191. The indicator light on the front panel of the ML191 will change colour from green to amber. If a probe is unrecognised, that is, not previously calibrated, the ML191 laser Doppler flow channel will output a negative 5 volt signal. Allow the system's temperature to stabilise for at least 20 minutes prior to performing the calibration. 3. Use the positioning stand supplied with the calibration kit to position the probe at the centre of the calibration suspension, whereby the surface or tip of the probe is equally distant from all sides of the vessel. 4. While the sensor is immersed in the calibration solution, press the cal button once. A single beep is emitted, followed by a series of double beeps that continue for approximately 10 seconds. During this 10 second period, press the cal button again. A long beep will sound, and the indicator light on the front panel will alternately flash red and amber. 5. After about 20 seconds, a double beep will sound to indicate the end of the calibration. The red indicator light will return to amber colour. The probe is now calibrated and ready for use with the ML191. Applying Units Conversion to apply units conversion to the laser Doppler flow signal, firstly, open the input amplifier dialog for the laser Doppler flow channel in lab chart channel calculations. Click the units button to open the units conversion dialog and set a two point calibration where zero millivolts is equal to zero perfusion units and 5,000 millivolts is equal to 5,000 perfusion units. A name for the units can be defined by selecting Defined Unit in the drop-down list. It is important that the input signal is not AC coupled, as this will cause inaccurate measurements of the blood perfusion. However, a low-pass filter, for example 50 Hz, can be incorporated to remove noise. To apply units conversion to the backscatter signal, firstly, Open the input amplifier dialog for the backscatter channel in lab chart channel calculations. Then click the units button to open the units conversion dialog and set a two point calibration where 0 to 5 volts corresponds to 0 to 100%.